Hey guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another unboxing video for Marvel Legends. Uh, you may notice that I don't use, like, this green, scene, this green screen um, for, like, that, like, the white background, because I watched my first video, that's when I used it, and it looked pretty bad, so I'm just gonna stick to uh, the background all green. So, yeah. Um, okay, let's do this. So, today I'm going to be reviewing the Vulture. Uh, I did unbox him. His chest is a little bit out right there because I put him back in the package. And, yeah, it's pretty good packaging. Uh, it's another, it's part, of, it's part of a Vulture build a figure. Well, not really build a figure, it's just build the Vulture's wings right there. And, yeah, I have two of the figures the Beetle. And the vulture, I just need these five left. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's on let's unbox this. Okay, here is the vulture unboxed, and yeah, let's take a look now. I just this this figure is amazing. Like, look at its details in the movie. It's so it's so cool. It has a little bomber jacket. It's a little it's this little fur on it. It's kind of like how it was in the comics. You know, in his green suit. Where he had like the little feathery white thing around his neck. It's kind of like that, I think. And like uh, his middle feet to the movie. I forgot what these are. I forgot what they're called. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, this figure is awesome. It's just like like the thing with these MCU and the Marvel Legends. Just that the detail is so like realistic. You know? Look at this. It's beautiful, actually. It has like the helmet looks exactly like it. Um, yeah, I like the little visor over the eyes there. Yeah, it just, I like how, I like how flexible he is. It's pretty flexible. Not as flexible as the beetle, but, you know, yeah. yeah. He's pretty easy to move around. Except like this, except like this, you can't really bend it down permanently, which is, whatever, that's fine. His head's pretty flexible, you can move that around, you can move that around a lot. And, yeah, this figure was all, it's like, downright awesome. You know, he's, he's very easy to pose. I'll get the why that is in a minute. But even if, I, I mean, look, he just stands up. Probably because he has these little pointy feet things at the bottom. I really forgot what they're called. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we're on to his little part of the wing since, yeah, he's just, like, the main part of the series where you attach the wing pieces on. And stuff like that. And you can actually put it on his back. A little hole right there. And there's a thing right there. Just. There we go. It's in good. It's also not hard to take off. Those beetle wings that I added on. They're pretty hard to take off. And whenever I. You know, I tried it once and it like almost broke. So that actually sucks. But uh, the beetle's fine. Don't worry. And the thing is when you stand them up. When you have the whole series probably. They'll probably fall down like that easier. What's well, thing came prepared? This thing right here. It's a little, it's a little wing stand. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me get this on. Yes. So basically, these hands right there. Then you get the wings, and they just go through like that. I'll turn them around. Wait. Okay, hold on. This might take a minute. There we go. His feet got in the way. You see, look at this. You know, um, whenever I get the wings, I'm well, probably not going to use this stand because I'm probably just going to like hang them up somewhere. And now that we have the wings and the beetle is part of the series, we can add that piece on. Little propeller engine thing. So I just need to look where I need to attach that. Uh. Okay. I think. I believe it goes right here. Oh, yo, this looks... Look, that looks pretty sick. Okay, now, at first, I, like, this series, I was like, eh, I don't know if I want this. But then I just got the... Then I got the figure, and I'm like, yeah, why not? Because this was here, so it's really, really cool. Like, now, now I want this series. I want the, Oops. I want this series now. And it's a good thing too because some of the some of the series that I really want have figures that I don't want, but this series, all these figures I like desperately want, especially, 
especially um Moon Knight and Captain Universe Spider Man. Those two are my like hit list. They're on my hit list, my main figs. I don't know why I haven't gotten them yet, but I'll just, just I don't know. Uh, there aren't there aren't any stores. The stores around here, um, where I live, have horrible selections. And yeah, this actually Vulture was like the only was like the only Marvel Legend they had there on my GameStop. So yeah, now uh, oh also I just wanted to say about these wings too. Look, they even have little carbons and where like the uh, mechanical tech parts are. Same thing, the back of the wings. Like if you see inside there, it has that as well. Which honestly it makes the figure like way more better detail wise. I cannot get over this detail. Sorry, I just can't. It's so good. It's so lifelike. It's like it's like Vulture had like pin particles and shrunk down, except he'd be like smaller, way smaller, but but still. You get what I'm saying? It looks like a tiny life. It looks like a tiny vulture. Okay, so uh, with all that done, let's um, put on. Let's add them to my collection. Okay, let's add them. Um, but first, I just wanted to say that I added labels to my collection. Uh, the Marvel villains will be right here. I put. Um, I hung. I like rehung a beetle over there. And uh, MCU people will be right here. There's Thor. I'm also gonna put Vulture there. It's just like my Marvel Legends logo. I'm gonna put like all the, you know, the Avengers. Basically, everyone from the comics. That's a good guy because, you know, I, I, most most characters in the Marvel comics, most good characters, and some bad have been in the Avengers before. Uh, this is where I'm gonna put all my Spider-Man and my Spider-Verse people, like Silk, Spider-Man 2099, Miles Morales, you know. And as this is where I'm gonna put X-Men. So. Yeah, let's um, let's add the vulture now. I already got him in a pose too. Just gonna put them on there. I have them like in a little his feet always get in the way. I have them like in a little he's like ready to fight pose. I try not to do the same poses for my guys. I, the original pose look like exactly like beetles. But yeah, he's gonna have a different pose when I. Get the, I'm gonna finish up the Vulture series in there, and I'm actually just gonna hang him up somewhere um, to make him like look like he's flying, and he'll have a different pose. So yeah, um, I'm also gonna start a first appearance collection where I have like, like a, there's like a Marvel Legends with like the Gray Hulk because Hulk used to be gray at first. I'm gonna put them. It might be on my top shelf, probably be on my bottom or my like, second. Shelf over here, I'll probably move some stuff, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it now. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and share this video. And if you want to know when I post more videos, you can click the little notification bell to know whenever I post a video. Yeah, that's my collection right now. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hobo55 out.